In this video, we will learn how to find spammy backlinks that has been affecting your SEO goals on your website and how to delete that, disavow them and submit to Google Search Console. So hey guys, my name is Raman and welcome to Webby Digital Channel and in this video, we are going to find out spammy backlinks that may be built by you or, to your, or from your competitor and how to delete those spammy backlinks from your website such that google should not acknowledge that specific backlink that you have found and how to create a disavow file and how to submit that disavow file to google search console so we will be using two three methods to actually do that such that even if you don't want to lose bucks from your pocket you can actually pick out two or three methods from this particular video and you will be able to find spammy backlinks that pointing to your website and disavow them by submitting a disavow file to google search console so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please click that red button you will be amazed by the content we are going to upload in upcoming days months or year because we are focusing on SEO social media marketing Windows tutorial and much more in this channel so let's get started so here as you can see it's my website obviously in the first part we will be using Google search console before jumping onto the solution let me tell you why you actually need to remove spammy backlinks so obviously just cutting to the short first is it can hurt your SEO rankings if your website is not ranking at all it may be due to spammy backlinks that been pointing to you your website or maybe some reason that Google does not acknowledge a backlink that has been pointing to your website is worthy enough to index them, index them on their pages and second is to improve your overall trust score so there are various matrices out there by different tools out there like SEMrush they have a flow method like trust flow and a citation flow so it can hurt your numbers down there and if whenever you scan or whenever a user want to deal with you or connect with you they want to see the score or authority you have been building on your website then it can hurt that much too so all the metrics is out there and third is basically there will be a risk of getting penalized from google so if you keep on building spammy backlinks or maybe your competitors are building spammy backlinks on you because that's a black hand method being used by many marketers out there like if you are ranking on particular keywords on google search engine and and there's a competitor out there also and if they also want to rank for that particular keyword then there's a chance that particular competitor being creating a spammy backlinks on your website to hurt your SEO ranking so do watch out and you should use a tool out there to actually keep those spammers or spammy backlinks away so that's why there was a need of tool by Google to actually acknowledge those links and upload them and completely disallow them from the list of consideration that's why they created a disavow tool and for the disavow tool you need to create a txt file and then you have to mention that which domain you should be ignored and there you need to upload that txt file to their disavow system so we will be doing that in the later part of this so hope you understand why you actually need to keep the spammy backlinks file or keep the record of your backlinks and remove that from your website so there are actually different methods available and as i've said for in the first we will be using google search console and here as if you haven't linked your website to google search console do it right away we have already created a video on it how to do it using gtm or without gtm so gtm is a google tag manager which we have already explained earlier in the first part we will be doing obviously google search console so what you need to do is go to this search console and go to your property so there there will be different property and just select your one and go to this uh, just go to the sidebar and scroll down to this link section and here you have a interface which you gives you an idea of external and internal links which has been built on your website and if you check out this which we already covered in the previous video how to use search console and find the backlinks on your website and now in this video we are going to find a spammy backlinks so first method is how to actually detect which links are spammy or not okay there are certain factors that can lead to a spammy backlink first is the language difference see if you have a native language or if you are somewhere in the spain and you speak a spanish language and the links has been built in a different language okay for example what you need to hear is do here is go to the top linking text so what is this if you see the link text in external pages that link to your property that means that website use these texts to build a backlink 
to your website and click on the more you will find every text out there which has been used to link to your website and here like i've said first you need to check out is all the links should be in your language or in the english language suppose you are from the spain and you speak spanish and your blog is a spanish or a german then obviously link should be in a german or in the english language right and if the links are building from the non english like in the chinese language japanese other languages then it sh- it may be considered as a spam so google will start recognizing your website as a spam because you are building a spam links on your website so that is so as, as you can see here there's actually nothing down here which looks spammy to me do check out each and every linking text here which will leads to any spamming backlinks out there so all these seems to be a valid backlinks so if you just keep going on and on and on you will find every link text out there so if you click on any on the any of them so that there's it is okay you can also export it and send it to your seo team or something like that and they will find which is actually a spam backlinks or not so if you find any spam backlinks just check that particular backlink on your tool pages and go to the links again and here is the top linking website so second method will be the top linking website so the limitation of this particular method is you cannot find the link that has been generating by the spammer or something like that from here so that's the limitation you will only need to find this text here and afterwards you don't have any other access to it so you may find the text and go search on the google and just search for the link that's how you can do it for the free okay enough of this let me go to the link section again and here is the top linking sites if you click on it you should find all the links that has been building to your website using this particular links out there and if you click on any of them you will find external links that has been used to link on a video as you can see there is a blog here and if we click on this and you will find every links that has been used by this particular domain to your website as we can see there is this and this and you what you need to do is go to this particular link and find if it's actually a spammy or not so as you can see the characteristics of spammy website should be like i've said the non native language like in a, like in another language like chinese or hindi or something like that if your website are german based or spanish based so you should check each and every url out here to detect if it's actually work or not so there's the one thing that you can easily do it with this and if you click on it on any of this link here you will find all the links that has been pointing to this particular page and if you open that you will find every links to it so it's a abc so is a search engine so i don't mind that for my website so these are the different type of ways you can actually detect a spammy website that has been linking to your website so one thing more i want to add on this is if your website is not local like if you don't have a local based business and your sites are getting a uh, directory links or uh, article directory links you should disavow the same okay and how to do that just click on any on the page like here you will find the link that has been linked to your website and you will find all the external link that has been used to your website and if you open that you will see that this is a web directory so you should tell google to disavow this particular link so you should start copy this and pasting it somewhere else wherever you want or you can create sheets dot new and it will redirect to create a new sh- worksheet for you just start typing the urls right here which you want to disavow we will tell you how to create disavow link in the later part of the video so that's how you start doing it so keep analyzing all these links and keep finding the links that actually look spammy to you and just add on your spreadsheet so if you don't want to do this by yourself you can contact me by in the description box where you will find the link or an email just email us and we will provide a service to you to find and audit your backlinks and delete all spammy backlinks from your website so that's the first part which is the free using google search console there's also many ways which we already discussed in the past so here is the internal links if you click on the here 
you will find all the internal links that has been used by this so you can also manage your internal links also and top linking side and top linked pages so if you see a link that has been linked repeatedly and frequently you should start audit that also so there's a pro tip for you like here web.com has been linked by 35 sites so you want to see if there's an odd number or not so if there is odd number like 35 is a huge number for you then just click on that particular link and you will find all the external links that has been linking to your that particular link which you have selected and here you should select site like dot org and here is the similar site this is just a aggregator so i don't mind that to be addressed by the google so you should start copy that if you it is it looks a uh, spam to you start copy that and start pasting on google sheet so it's that we will know how to create a disavow in later part of the video so there is the first is google search console and now moving forward to the second which is the freemium part we will be using a uh, backlink checker by ahrefs so how to use that so go to the ahrefs.com slash backlink checker and here you will find the free SEO tool right here. Just type out your domain like this, web.com and check, click on check backlinks and there will be a recapture. Just fill it out. Let me just uh, select that. And here it will tell you the total domain rating of your website. And here is the referring page and anchor and text. So there are total number of 197 backlinks linking website is 17. 84% no follow and 29% do follow so there is a upgrade for the tool that you are already using it so now this is a next level or you can see a upgrade from the google search console because google search console does not give you that much data that these tool may give okay so here as you can see there is a hello world and i don't know which language is this and if let's open that if we open that the language is not related to my website which is in the english so let's see if it is a really a spammy backlink or not and if we move on to this here you can see there is a spammy backlink that seems to be which is in the chinese form i just open that and see if it's also a spammy backlink or not and there we will find this IPs also you should also consider that are spammy just open that also so there is a hello world links this also looks like a spammy to me just open that so as you can see the referring page is here and the anchor and target page is there so you should start auditing your website like that and here it is also not in my native language just open that and there it is also open that there you go so so much spammy backlinks out there so what you can do is after using this tool this tool may want your search console to be configured so you can also do that so just what you need to do is here just go to the end find each and every spammy banks backlinks out there and just copy those and start pasting on your google sheet just like that yes it looks a spammy to me let me paste that all here because that is not in my language so these are some links that we found as a spammy from a free backlink checker by ahrefs i will leave a link, link in the description box where you can actually see and find the backlinks that has been affecting your seo strategy so let me close that down okay and now that's how you can easily find spammy backlinks on your website by using this freemium tool so if you want detailed analytics on your website using this particular tool then you need to buy the paid plan so i think that won't be any necessary right now because i'm going to tell you another tool which is the third part of this video which is SEMrush. so what if you can aggregate all those backlinks and actually disavow all the toxic domains that has been pointing out to you by clicking few buttons on your tool shamrush has this backlink audit tool go to the backlink audit and enter your project whichever project you have you will find this so here is overall toxicity score is really high so it has already audited my backlink profile so how to backlink your website for the links which we have already discussed in the past so here we are going to find the spammy backlinks and here as you can see over the period of time spammy backlinks has been on fire on my website so how to actually select all these efficiently not every link works like that okay i will tell you in the upcoming minutes so let's click on this toxic scores okay 
and here it will tell us all the links that has been toxic okay and here as you can see this is already in disavow list so a uh, sign is there don't get it confused if you don't have a sign you need to put these link into disavow list so here as you can see there's already in the disavow list so what i'm going to do is I'm going to toxicity score and select 60 to 100 below 60 will be in the grayish area so you might consider that as your backlink but let me just figure it out with this 60 to 100 should be a toxic and cannot be tolerated so anchor will be if you want anchor as a money compound branded organic then you can select that all there's a category which is from the different like if you have a category of internet and or tutorials and your backlink is coming from a food tutorial <laughs> obviously then you need to select all these here and their authority score obviously which we have already discussed and the link type text image form etc so here is the all links which is and now we need to click on the for review section and here as you can see there's a new domain out there and there's a plenty of it so what i'm going to do is select this all scores right here click on disavow and move to disavow so if you are moving a domain to disavow you don't need to add each and every url from that particular domain as ibacklink.ru is already in disavow list so you don't need to add this particular domain again and again to tell google that this is a spammy backlink so you shouldn't be considering this as, as a spammy backlink anymore because the domain is already there but let me on the safer side obviously these particular sites are creating a ruckus on my website and hurting my SEO score so these are creating endlessly like as you can see here so let me click on the disavow again move to disavow let me put all these domain as a disavow and let me tell you what you do next see you in a few clicks or a few transition okay so now i have already move all those backlinks that has been toxicity score from 60 to 100 to disavow list so as you can see nothing has been found here like if i just go to the all links again and go to the for review again as you can see toxicity score which i have selected 6200 is no more so below 6200 i don't mind much and if you click on it you will find all the links that has been low toxicity score so there you will find the authority score of the website or the backlink and there's a toxicity score so there may be a website that has been a spammy for you here and here as you can see there is a blog line or something like that as you can see the authority score is zero and the trust score or a, i would say toxicity score is really high so what you need to do is just click on it and it's also in the gray orangish area not in red so you can ignore it and if i open this it redirect to my website and if i open the backlink here it seem a decent to me right like a blog to me and there's a unique visitor of 154 so that has been okay f for my website and just click on it and go from here and you will find all the authority score of zero so you have to manually do, do that just click each and every link that has an authority score of zero and higher trust score or tr toxicity score then you should go one by one so whenever you find a spammy backlink that is being not related to your content then you just move that to your disavow list like we have already doing that right so now where is a disavow list so if you click on this disavow list and here you will find every domain that has been moved to disavow list so it may take a time because even in my case of links has been grown from 15916 to 30000 something so here is a disavow so first one thing is you can you should keep one disavow list okay and let me download this why i'm telling you to keep only one because google accept only one disavow list and it should be updated time to time so if you are not using a tool like a SEMrush or ahrefs and if you are just using a free tools like google search console even the ahrefs and you are creating a disavow list like this and here is a disavow list should be like that and is the hash domain hash these are the just to comment and this is the format to create a disavow list like here domain and this is a domain okay just creating something from this chart looking here domain and then you will start typing 
the spammy domain or link like we have already done here let me just copy that and paste that here either you can just enter a domain like here crunchbase.com and i will just type out a domain like that or if you need to enter a url you need to enter a url like that and there you will need to add in same format but to differentiate from domain and to url you can just use the hashtag domains and list all all the domain and just go to the last and in the url part just paste your url right here so hope you understand how to create a this above file if you are not using a tool like semrush now you should keep this file in your safe folder why you need to update that from time to time you cannot create a new disavow and upload it to your google search console and google will replace your old with this new file so that's why you need to update your current file right there and just click on save now we are moving forward to how to upload your disavow list just go to google and search for the disavow tool and find a link to the disavow here is a link i will leave that in the description box and there is this is an advanced feature obviously it is an advanced feature so this is the domain property which i'm using okay so domain property is not be supported at this time let me check with another account so here it is account and let me select my url here it is and as you can see there were 14,263 domains and zero urls are disavowed so what i need to do is go to the same rush account download this particular to export to txt which is the updated disavow list so all my dis spam links has been uploaded to this particular links and if you want to import disavow links to your semrush account which you have already uploaded to your google search console if you are new user to semrush you can use this import disavow links and there you will use your property if you haven't configured google search console already then use your property and click on import it will import all the urls out there okay and now moving forward to how to upload there as we already know it should be a url property here like here and now replace click on replace and click on replace again go to the download section and here is the file which we need to upload and the file will be replaced by the updated disavow list so as you can see there is now 16389 domains which will be disavowed and disregarded by the google so it will may take some time but let me tell you you should review your disavow list from time to time it should not contain a link that can harm your search engine ranking so why is that suppose there may be a valuable link that has been regarded as best by the google and you have provided that in your disavow list then google will disregard that particular link and then your ranking will be down from the top to the bottom so you should be aware that the links are whichever links are there in the disavow list should be spammy should be reviewed by you and be double check it before uploading to this particular list you can go again and replace it by using this particular tool like here google search console disavow and replace it with the new updated list so if you want us to audit your backlink or your website backlink you can contact us using raman at webby.com where we will create or assign a new representative to you where they will be start auditing your backlink profile and remove spammy backlinks from your website so this is a whole process this is not the whole process but it is enough for the starter you should be applying on your daily marketing strategy so that's about it if you have learned something from this video i know the video is quite long but the process is a bit long this is just this process for starter if you want to learn advanced backlink auditing then you should request that in the comment box where if we get a 10 or 20 comments then we will create a new advanced backlink auditing which includes various other steps advanced steps i would say which involves a third party or free tool like seo spider and some manual work so that's about it that's about for now so if you have learned something from this click the like button if you want to share this to your friend or colleague then you have a share button and if you want to learn more from our channel then click the red button which is the subscribe so see you in the next video already then bye bye